My name is Evan Hildner, and today I'm going to be demoing the second portion of the robotics project. Um, the last portion, we did these forward kinematics for the Scarra robot. And now I'm going to be doing the inverse kinematics as well as a small action utilizing um, the inverse kinematics. So uh, we're going to have two codes here. We're going to go ahead and run this code. As you see here, the console is asking for um, an X parameter, and this X parameter is actually the X um, position for the um, for the tool. So I'm going to put in 500 for the X. This is the Y value for the tool. I'm going to put 500 as well, and then for the Z value, I'm going to put 100. Now this is going to be the orientation of the end effector um, with respect to the zero frame. I'm going to put 45. And if you look at it, you can see that the robot goes to 500 in the X and 500 in the Y. Now let's check the Z. And you can see that it goes to 100 in the Z. One last thing to check is the orientation of the end effector, and that is seen to be 45 here again with respect to the zero frame. Alright, let's do one more. Let's go ahead and do negative 500, uh, negative 500. I'm doing 500 because it's easy to see on the grid. And we'll go ahead and do uh, 200 for the Z and then we'll go ahead and do 90 degrees for the orientation. And it's going to come back All right, let's check it. You can see here that we're at negative 500 in the X, negative 500 in the Y, and the orientation of the end effector is 90 degrees. And then we'll check the Z, and you can see that is at 200. Awesome. Now we're gonna go to the second program, where this is going to show a small um, welding action. And this is done by, well really I created a a square um, on the uh, 2D grid and I'm gonna make the robot actually trace that square like it's welding a plate to the ground and this is the um, the tool pose data and basically we're just gonna loop through this data and feeding it feed it into our inverse kinematics algorithm and then into our forward kinematics algorithm all right so you see here, the robot is making its way to the corner of the plate, and then it's gonna start tracing the plate. It does move fairly slow because it's going between um, a lot of different points. So I'm going to speed this up. Now as the robot reaches um, the corner of the plate, you will see the end effector actually changes orientation to kind of wrap around the edge there. And it will start doing that right now. And again, like I said, I'm going to go ahead and speed this up now. All right, now you can see that the robot has successfully finished the welding task and the plate is welded to the ground um, and it has successfully um, traced the object as well. All 
All right, this has been the second portion of the robot um, project. I uh, hope you enjoyed. Thank you.